Yeah, somebody asked me recently uh, to do a video on how I select campsites by riding by. And I've mentioned this in previous videos on how I select campsites, but let's let's uh, let's talk about it again since uh, I've been recently getting some new subscribers, and they probably you know you can't necessarily catch everything I say in every video, and I understand that. So yeah, how do I do it? How do I pick campsites and stuff? How do I come out here and figure out where to go, where I can go, where I know there will be a site for me? So in the United States, uh, we have national forest land, which are giant swaths of land that have been set aside by the government for uh, environmental conservation as well as the recreation of the American people. Commercial developments are not allowed to, to own or develop on any of the lands. And uh, this part of the country that I'm in, the western half of the country, has the, the largest national forest uh, territories. So in Arizona, like where I am right now, this is part of a, I believe it's part of the Coconino National Forest. And generally speaking, uh, dispersed camping is permitted in all of these locations. Uh, and dispersed camping is when you uh, pull off on the side of the road and you just camp. Like, you pick your own spot. Sometimes you'll find areas where people have set up fire rings, which is basically a designated campsite, but it's not set up by any officials. It's set up by people, and other people just come and use it. And that's still considered a dispersed site. So when you come to these areas and you pick a forest road, generally, you can just drive down the road and you'll eventually see pull-offs where you can set up a tent. Like right there, there's a little pull-off. I could probably set up a tent right there because it's flat. Um, like, and, and generally I look for areas that look like other people have camped there. And you can just kind of cruise through and pick something. Um, you don't always get what you're looking for. And usually it's a little nerve-wracking because I'm always a little worried I'm not going to find something. But so far that hasn't really been a problem. Um, like over there I could probably go camp. But before I go out at all, I look at Google Maps and satellite view. And I study the terrain. I look at the forest road and I zoom into it and I pan around it and I look for the pull-offs. I look for the spots where people have done dispersed camping. <laughs> but yeah, I'll look at the look at a map beforehand. I'll locate some dispersed sites on a road and then that kind of just verifies for sure that there are sites on that road. And I'll mark them on my phone. And the idea being, you know, if I go out there, like today, for example, I marked a spot on my phone and I'm trying to find it. But if you can't find it, you're generally guaranteed to find something else. Um, you know, if there's a dispersed site, if there are dispersed sites on the road, probably find another one. I went way too far, twice as far as I needed to go. Huh. I might not find a spot in the dead trees. I do know that I have a spot. Look at that, there's a squirrel over there. I should have brought my rifle. There's two of them. Anyway, so that's how I select campsites. Um, I knew that off Schultz Pass Road there were spots, and uh, I figured I would just come through and try to find one near the, uh, the area of the forest that had been burned down. So, that's what we're doing. <laughs>